In Sacramento, approximately two weeks before your guardianship hearing, the court will review your case file to see if there is anything remaining to be done and create some notes regarding your case to assist the court. These notes are referred to as probate notes. In the event that these notes state in your case that there is something remaining for you to do, you will be required to draft a response to these probate notes and file it with the court at least five days prior to your hearing. The easiest way to access your probate notes is to view them using the court's website at www.saccourt.ca.gov. Once you are at the main page, click on the link that says View Civil and Probate Case Documents. On the next screen, select the tab for Probate, and when the menu drops down, select View Probate Notes by Case. At the prompt that appears next, input your case number, choosing the four-digit year in your case number with the drop-down box, and entering the eight-digit number that follows. If your probate notes have been prepared, a result should appear that you can click to view. Upon clicking, your probate notes should appear. If they appear with gray lines diagonally across the page, you may have gone to the wrong menu. Be sure to choose View Probate Notes by Case in the prior step. It is free to view the probate notes, and they should appear without any redaction. The top of the probate note will include information about your case, including the name of the minor, the name and relationship of the petitioner to the minor, as well as additional information to assist the court. The next section will usually state documents to be filed by the court by petitioner or may contain some other mention that the petitioner is required to complete one or more steps. If this section does not exist or is empty, there would be no need to respond to the probate notes. If the clerk found an issue that is necessary to resolve, a note beginning with the word needed will be made for each issue. For each issue, a written response is required. In Sacramento, probate notes must be responded to using a local form, Form PR-E-LP-022, Response to Calendar Notes. This form is easy to use. In the box that says Party Without Attorney or Attorney, simply write your name, street address, city, state, and zip, and telephone number, and where it says Attorney for, in pro per. In the next box, check the box for guardianship of, write the name of the minor child or children you are seeking guardianship of, and check the box that says minor. Write your case number in the box for case number, and where it provides the space for the date, write the date of your hearing, the time of your hearing, and the department of your hearing where indicated. Copy the text of your first probate note behind the words first calendar note. Please be aware that you may not have enough space to write the complete note. Then, behind the word response, write your response to the probate note, explaining to the court what you have done to correct the issue or how you intend to correct the issue. In the example shown on screen, the first probate note is requiring proof of personal service on each of the parents or a declaration regarding the effort to identify and locate for service the parent. The response might be an indication that one of the parents was served by personal service and when, as well as the fact that the other parent could not be identified and that a declaration of diligent search and request to dispense with notice is being filed with the court. There are no magic words when responding to the probate notes. Simply try to explain clearly and concisely what you are doing or what you have done to provide the court with what it is requested. If you require additional space, you may indicate that your response is continued on an attachment and then attach an additional sheet of paper to your response using either 28-line pleading paper or the Attachment to Judicial Council form form, labeling it Attachment Number and then the number of the probate note. 
At the bottom, date, print your name, and sign where indicated. If you have more than one probate note, you will find that there is space for additional probate notes on the second page, the third page, and the fourth page. There is also a signature line at the bottom of each. Use as many pages as necessary. The pages that are blank do not need to be signed. Once you have completed this form, make two additional copies of it, leaving the original, if more than one page, unstapled, but stapling the copies. Then, file this with the court at least five days prior to your hearing. Your filing location is the same location you have used for all of your other documents.